In the Caucasus region of South Ossetia, police fired warning shots as thousands of demonstrators took to the streets to protest the annulment of Sunday's election results. An opposition leader who had campaigned to safeguard the republic's independence from Russia appeared to have won a majority of votes, but the result was overturned by the Supreme Court. FSRN's Jacob Resnick has more from Tbilisi. Russian-language television showed opposition leader Ala Zhiyoyeva dancing and celebrating her victory Tuesday after the Central Election Commission reported she had garnered 56 percent of the vote. Her win came as a surprise after Russian leaders and outgoing President Edward Kokoidi had campaigned heavily for her rival. But the Supreme Court threw out the results after her rival, candidate Minister for Emergency Situations Anatoly Bibilov, filed a complaint alleging bribery and interference at the polls. Zhiyoyeva had boycotted the hearing, and the court ruled against her. It then ordered new elections to be held in March and barred her from participating. That's led to widespread anger. A crowd has gathered in Sinkvali's main square. Ossetian journalist Alan Skrbayev told FSRN this afternoon he witnessed police draw their weapons to stop protesters from overrunning a government building. They started to shoot uh, in the air. It was a very difficult situation, but... Uh, Finally, no injuries. Uh, for now, it's okay. South Ossetia broke away from Georgia following the Soviet Union's collapse. In 2008, Georgia and Russia went to war over the tiny mountainous republic of about 60,000 people. Most countries don't recognize South Ossetia. Russia is a key exception and has called on people there to recognize the court's decision annulling the election. Outgoing President Edward Kokordi had mocked Geoyeva's electoral chances because of her gender. But journalist Skrbayev says she's emerged as a popular figure. He notes the total absence of any Bibilov supporters in the streets. It's very important for South Ossetia because uh, everyone knows uh, now that uh, people have their their own opinion. They don't want the previous uh, government. They, they uh, can uh, elect freely a new person, uh, even if it is a woman. They don't care. They just want uh, changes. They want to uh, improve uh, their life uh, here in South Ossetia. Meanwhile, the South Ossetian KGB put out a statement saying it's working to avert destabilization and warn against civil war. In Tbilisi, Georgian political analyst Mamuka Arashidzi told PIK Broadcasting that things could unravel quickly. It can get very serious. We know that South Ossetia is well armed. Every family has a weapon. Anything could happen. We also know that the Russian military bases have been put on alert. If anything happens, they will most probably interfere. The South Ossetian State News Agency reports that the Supreme Court received a petition from supporters of Zhiyoyeva Wednesday evening and has agreed to consider her appeal when the court reconvenes Thursday. Meanwhile, demonstrators have pledged to keep an overnight vigil, even as temperatures dip below freezing. Jacob Resnick, FSRN, Tbilisi, Georgia.